Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Unstructured to structure data conversion using EDS parser. An organization needs products and sales insights of their data. They have their data in an unstructured format. They need a tool that can generate quality data about their products and product sales. Informatica's Edge Data Streaming, EDS, provides the best solution for this. Unstructured data can be input as a source to EDS. EDS provides transformations which can pass the unstructured data to a structured file, for example, JSON. This clean data can then be used for further processing. In this video, you see how to create, deploy, and monitor an EDS data flow. Log in to Informatica Administrator. Navigate to the Services and Nodes page. You can see the list of all the services. Select the EDS service and click the Edge Data Streaming tab. This opens the Edge Data Streaming UI. Let's create a new data flow. Give a name to the data flow. Click OK. We will first input unstructured data. Under the Entity Types pane, scroll down to the Sources section. Drag and drop the source entity syslog UDP onto the workspace. In the Source window, enter the entity name and the port number. Click OK. The source is created in the workspace. Open the weblogs.log source file to see how the raw unstructured data looks. Later, you can compare how the EDS transformation converts this to a clean data. Now scroll up to the targets section in the entity types pane. Drag and drop the target entity Kafka onto the workspace. In the target window, enter the entity name, Kafka destination and the topic name. Data records are stored in categories known as topics. Weblog is the target topic that is used for this data flow. Click OK. The target is created in the workspace. Now let's map the source and target service to the EDS nodes on which they must run. Select the syslog underscore UDP file source and click node groups under entity details panel on the right. Click Create Relationship icon in the Node Groups section. Select the Server Node Group checkbox and click Apply. Save this. Similarly, select the Kafka underscore weblog underscore out Kafka target and click Node Groups under Entity Details panel on the right. Again, click Create Relationships icon in the Node Groups section. Select the Server Node Group checkbox and click Apply. Save this too. We now need to establish a messaging connection between the source and target by simply dragging a line from source to target. Choose Ultra Messaging Connection Type. Enter the entity name and retain the values of other fields and click OK. Select the created Ultra Messaging Connection and click OK. The messaging connection between source and target is created. The crux of this demonstration is the EDS parser transformation. Let's see how it works. Click and drag the transformation unstructured data parser onto the connector. Provide a name to the entity. This transformation needs a pattern for conversion. Check the pattern that we will input to the parser. Copy the complete pattern and close the notepad. Navigate back to Informatica Administrator and paste the pattern in the Pattern field. Click OK. It is this EDS transformation, unstructured data parser, that transforms the raw data to a pattern that has a specific format. Save the transformation. The data flow along with the transformation is created successfully. It's now time to deploy the data flow. Click the Deploy icon to deploy the data flow.
A pop-up message appears indicating that the deployment was successful. Check Start the node. Since the node was started in the previous tabs, it should be in the running state. If it is not, execute the following steps. Start the node before monitoring the statistics. Now click the Execution Statistics in the Monitor tab of Informatica Administrator. Click EDS under Domain underscore BDM in the Navigator. In the Data Flows, click the data flow that you just created. As both source and the target appear in green, it means that the data flow is successful. Otherwise, they appear in red. Click the Grid tab to view the statistics in the Grid view. Select the data flow and node checkboxes. Scroll down. You do not see any bytes sent or received. They both appear zero. This is because data is not appended. We need to run the Python script as a part of this demo. This is the Python script that needs to be run. Run the Python script now. Next, run the consumer script to check if the data is appended to the target. You can view how the pattern is on the data and how a clean data is generated and stored in the Kafka target. Now navigate back to execution statistics page. After refresh, check the values for bytes received and bytes sent now. You can notice that the bytes sent and received keep changing as the data is appended. This shows that the EDS data flow is successful. This concludes the video.